Welcome back to 3R Ballistics and part two of our homemade Home Depot bulletproof bullet resistant glass testing. So what I wanted to do before I take them over there and shoot them up is show you some side profiles of each one of these. This is the Home Depot plate, the half and half, and I guess our online plate. What I also went ahead and did is I brought out one inch of polycarbonate, which is fairly close to the same thickness of each one of these to show you what just polycarbonate can do by itself and uh, hopefully we'll take it to failure each one of these we'll see what it can handle but let me show you the side profile so for the Home Depot plate hopefully it'll focus what we're looking at is seven layers glass side over here being the strike face and the polycarbonate, the other side, being more of the uh, spall containment. Let me show it from this side if it shows better. So the green, soda lime glass, and the other is the polycarbonate. Okay, that's the Home Depot plate, the half and half. Let me show you the side of this one. So, once again, hopefully you could see, maybe with a background on there, you could see this being soda lime glass being strike face half inch polycarbonate actually that's three eighths polycarbonate and an eighth inch uh polycarbonate behind that so hopefully the polycarbonate does a plug out and the other one will catch it and then for the front of this strike face we just have uh security film on that and the last one the online plate is this one's gonna be a little bit hard to see, but that's what we got right there. It is, let me see, maybe this little corner will show better. Come on, focus. We have polycarbonate, 3 8 glass, 3 8 polycarbonate, and another polycarbonate in the back. All right, let's start out with the Home Depot, see if we can start, uh, stop at least nine millimeter, and let you know we're doing the CZ Shadow 2. For the nine millimeter, we're doing 124 grain full metal jacket. We got the Ruger uh, Blackhawk 357 Magnum. We'll be doing 158 full metal jacket on that. And then we have the Taurus Tracker with a 44 Magnum, and that is going to be a 200 and that's going to be 240 grain full metal jacket. Oh no, full yeah, full metal jacket, flat nose. And we have our little Garmin chronograph we'll try to get some readings if not you should be able to read it on the camera start out with the Home Depot plate nine millimeter let's go okay here we go first shot nine millimeter Home Depot plate uh, go towards the top 1154 feet per second clear Walking up to the plate, it looks like the nine millimeter did not go through. On to 357, and also we have no glass in the front. Oops, sorry about that. No glass being held. We're gonna try to hit the 357 here and then I don't know about getting a 44, maybe, maybe on the top. 357. Next up, we got the 357. We'll try to hit it underneath the mark we just got. You good? We're good. Here we go. Speed, 1,096 feet per second. Let's go check it out. Three fifty-seven, right here, and interestingly, it started to delaminate. But you could see it in there. I think. Oh yeah. It stopped it. 
Got a nice little bulge. Um, we might, oh, there's some of the goo. <laughs> We're gonna turn this around and shoot it with 44. I'm gonna go get some gloves. So far we've been successful. Home Depot plate holding up better than I thought. We're gonna be doing the, the big boy now, 44 Magnum, um, 240 grain. Got the chronograph, we'll see how fast we're going. Got some gloves on now. You still good back there? We're good. Okay, here we go. Woo! 1,389 feet per second. Clear. Coming up to the plate, 357, nine millimeter, 44. And what did we do with Home Depot? Uh, <laughs> let's see. It did not stop it. And we got some material back in there. Let me see if I can reach it with some pliers. Yeah, even the even the, holy smokes, we got some serious. Ah. Oh, look at that. So technically it stopped it and then broke. <laughs> One more layer of polycarbonate may have stopped 44, but what we have here did not. So we are moving on to the half and half plate. We are gonna go ahead and do the half and half plate. We started talking and decided, you know what? We're gonna start with 357. We don't wanna compromise the plate quite as much. So let's go ahead, hit this a little bit lower on the left. You good back there? Yeah, we're good. Okay, here we go. Wow, dead center. 1,071 feet per second. Whoo, walking up to this one, I think we could tell it didn't get very far. Um, that 357 is right there. Yowzers. Okay, but we will go ahead and take a look on the other side of it just to make sure. It did start to delaminate slightly and there is absolutely no bulge on the back. I think we have a good shot if we get the 44 maybe up here. But we got some, we got some damage on this. That's why we started with 357. Alrighty. Okay, so we're moving up to the 44 with the Taurus Tracker, 240 grain, full metal jacket. Try to hit above and to the right. You good? Whoa, mama. <laughs> Clear. Okay, the velocity was 1362. I forgot to mention that. But, um, look at it from the top here. You could see part of the jacket is still in this. Glass is held together incredibly well, but did it go through? And what do you know? Look at this. It did not go through. Ah, this is, it did completely destroy this plate. Very little back face deformation, but 
that 44 was stopped with this plate right here. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I don't know if that was a 357 or the. That is amazing. Hopefully that's some good slow motion, but I think we're done with this plate. <laughs> On to the next. Okay, so we have what I would call a full build of thick pieces. This is essentially just a uh, 3 8 piece of glass and 3 8 uh, polycarbonate. We're going to go ahead and start with the 357 again. And then we will go from there. You ready? Speed 1079. Let's go take a look. What I can see is the front has delaminated a little bit. The glass being much thicker has held its structure a little bit better, but nothing, nothing came through. So I will say this is, uh, this is delaminated a little bit more than I was hoping for. But we're going to go ahead and try to get the 44 up in this area. Go from there. I'm going to try to put this just above the strap. I know this may delaminate. It may not hold together quite as good. But if it stops the 44, we have something after this. We might try. Of course, the 44 might just get through. So, okay. You ready? Woo! 1,336 feet per second. Let's go check it out. <laughs> we got bits of glass everywhere. This is obviously where the 44 went in. Um, glad I found my gloves. That polycarbonate's pretty, pretty good, but look at that. Nothing. It did not even partly dent that. That 3 8 really broke it up. Here's, here's the 44 round. The jacket is actually underneath it and all over. Yeah, oh yeah, that's where it went in the, I don't know what that is, first polycarbonate. Anyway, that's what's left. Obviously did not go. That's the back of the polycarbonate. Very little deformation, as you can see even here. All right, let's put up the regular poly plate and see what it could do with a 44. Okay, so for our last test, we have one inch of polycarbonate going straight back to the 44. Let's see if we can stop the 44 with just one inch of polycarbonate. Good? Yep. Okay, here we go. Woo, 1,359 feet per second and clear. That is obviously where we hit with the 44. And it went through. <laughs> Very strangely, here it, what the heck? I think it went through. It did. It went all the way through. But, okay, so one inch of polycarbonate cannot stop a 44. I guess 
We could hit it with a few rounds of nine just to show that one inch can stop nine millimeter. We'll do that. Okay, so we're back to nine millimeter CZ Shadow. We're gonna try to get three shots on the target. We're gonna try to do, do them fairly quick. Let me put the safety on so I could get my ears on. Probably a good thing to have. Okay, you good back there? And what do you know, the Garmin got all three of those shots. <laughs> Last one being 1160, clear. So walking up to this, I am a little confused. There's the 44, here's the nine, here's the nine. But I know I shot three shots. We will have to check the slow-mo to see what happened. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You have to be kidding me. Did I put two in the same hole? It looks like I put two in the same, oh, stopped the nine millimeter right there. If you look in between closely, you could see it in there. But I guarantee you one inch of polycarbonate does stop nine millimeter just not 44. After pulling these plates over here, I got to admit this Home Depot one did really, really well. I mean, it seemed to hold together actually the best, even though the material is somewhat sticky inside. Um, these thinner layers of polycarbonate seem to do a little bit better job at, uh, at their ductility. They were actually able to form to the bullets, not to the 44, but to each bullet. I gotta say, I was impressed. I was impressed with how this glass held together. This did really, really good. Um, didn't, uh, we didn't get quite the ductility that we did out of this other stuff. So, I mean, I'm thinking thicker polycarbonate may not be suited. It seems to break or, or plug out as they say. And this last one with all of the, all of the thick glass, I mean, it did, it stopped the 44 in its tracks like nothing. But I think bigger glass and then smaller glass into thinner polycarbonate is probably the way to go. Yep. Well guys, was it what you expected? Did these things handle the way you thought they would? Let me know. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and try to stop a 50 BMG next with this, probably in the next few months. But coming up, we have some recycling projects, you know, for the zombie apocalypse that might happen. We wanna go ahead and give you guys a, a what if scenario. And uh, so stay tuned for that. And until then,